Okay guys, in this video, I will discuss about the foundation difference between two cases. First one is your moment connected base, okay, in case of a support like this one, okay, here uh, how you have to consider the foundation and another one is your bracing support. That means, let's say you have a braced way like this and in that case, you normally provide pin support. So, what are the forces or how you need to consider the uh, foundation okay so before starting the video if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited and also if you want to support and show your love towards this channel you can join the membership okay so let's start first with the bracing one okay so in case of a breast pay okay so this is a breast pay this is the support pin support normally and you normally may have lateral load okay so due to this lateral load you will have axial force in this bracing so if you simply cut this support you have an axial force like this and this will have a vertical component it will directly transfer to the foundation and a lateral one okay so there is no push or pull effect which will arise in case of a moment that will uh, be discussed in the next slide so here due to this axial force you will have a vertical component and a horizontal component okay and if you visualize a pin support uh, it's something like this here this is the eye section or column okay or white plan section and here as there is no such push and pull effect you don't need to hold these flanges with the waist plate that is why you insert your anchor bolt between the flange there is no anchor bolt outside the flange as a result the overall pedestal size remain much smaller okay not only that if you consider this anchor bolt design also here in this pedestal let's say this is the pedestal and this is the anchor bolt here due to this horizontal force component okay this is subjected to a horizontal shear agree due to this shear this concrete try to breaks like this break out and in that case you may have to provide some reinforcement adjacent to this anchor bolt right now come to the uh, pile part okay or pile cap part let's say this foundation is something like this this is the column and this is the bracing okay and this is pile cap beneath this you have number of piles as you can see here that as there is no such moment the moment is zero here that is the reason that you can place this pile at nominal distance that is normally 3d at a nominal distance you can place this pile okay so the dimension of this pile cap is also much less correct but you have to make sure that these piles have enough lateral load carrying capacity why due to this bracing these piles will be subjected to a huge amount of lateral shear load so the shear capacity of this pile should be sustainable or sufficient okay now come to the next part that is your moment support so in case of a moment support what happened if this is the column this is your foundation pile cap this is the pile let's say so you have axial force but in addition to this axial force you will also have some moment and you know that in case of any i section or white fan section assuming that this is an i section okay so this moment is actually converted into a tension and a compression or a push and a pull so to transfer this tension and compression what you have to do now if you look into the plan dimension this is the flange okay and let's say this is the pedestal so to transfer this 
tension and compression you have to hold this flange with the split or with the pedestal so for that you have to put some anchor bolt at the outside and some inside so due to this arrangement of anchor bolt you know that the anchor bolt needs some edge distance also some clearance from flange so it's definitely it is very clear that the pedestal size requirement in this case or in moment support base is much higher compared to your bracing support or pin support okay and also you if you look into the anchor bolt detailing initially our anchor bolt was subjected to let's say this is the anchor bolt and initially it was subjected to only shear force so we provided reinforcement to resist this crack and here also you will have some tensile force right because you have to transfer this pull force through this anchor bolt so due to this tensile force you will also have some crack like this so you may have to put some extra reverse around this anchor bolt to resist this crack that is generating from tensile force and last one is your pile cap that is you know that this moment if this is the moment okay this is ultimately converted into a tensile force and compressive force so if the lever arm is d you can say that this moment is simply c or t times d or indirectly i can say that lever arm required to transfer this moment is m divided by compressive or tensile force now let's say compressive or tensile force cap carrying capacity is fixed for this pile so based on that you need a higher d or higher distance between the piles let's say these are the piles this is the pile cap so based on the magnitude of the moment you need higher distance between the pile okay so now i think you have got some idea about how you need to consider different aspect whenever you are going to design the base or the foundation for moment connected base and bracing support base clear so if you love this video don't forget to share it